We're here for round number two of the High Tech Oil Super Series in Darwin, Northern Territory, all the way north. And of course, we got some hot, it's going to be hot and humid this weekend. Oh, In the no. meantime, we thought we'd better sample some of Northern Territory's best activities, including barra farming here at Barramundi Adventures. And let's hope the boys don't get as tangled up as they have out here on the pond. Oh, I know it's hard, but <laughs> <laughs> don't come and get me if I fall in, boys. <laughs> yeah, it's actually all right, though. Oh, Brad, we're killing it. Yeah. Unreal. Very cool. 68, not bad. Brad, yours is only 58. Mine was 59. I was 68. Have a crack. Oh, you know, I've been putting in a lot of work lately with my fishing, so to come up here and catch a big one means a lot. <laughs> What's the team getting up to back there at the pit bay while you're out here having a great time? Yeah, well, I actually feel guilty. They keep sending me messages saying, when are you coming back? But I've just told them I'm on a fishing tour. So who knows, if we keep going the way we're going, I might not even go back. How do you think the rest of the season shaping up? You, obviously, it wasn't a great start round number one, but it got really good towards the end of Winton round one. You think you can carry that on to this round? Yeah, it was obviously a bit of a tough start with the car overheating. We're up here, it's hot too, so hopefully we'll sort all that out. There's a couple new little features that we can add to the car just to help with cooling a bit. Stick to the plan, tick all the boxes, and yeah, hopefully come away with a couple of good results. Is it going to give you a bit of confidence if you can land the biggest barra here today? Well, so far I'm doing well, but I think I need to just get another banker of a fish just so, to make sure I'm uh, sitting on top at the end. Yeah. Ow, straight finger. <laughs> Tyler, I can see we've got some fish circling you, but they're not biting. Yeah, we're not um, having much luck here, so I'm not sure what's going on. Yeah, there's meant to be a lot of fish in here, but it doesn't look like it. <laughs> it's a slow start to coming into a Friday, but how do you think you're going to go tomorrow when we get into practice? It's all about just getting into it. Like, we've travelled all the way up here, so um, it's going to be nice and warm for us and get out and track and see what it's like. Come on, brother. I know you want it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you get in. No way. You took me bait and everything. Let's catch up with Nathan Hearn. He's getting a lot of pellets thrown out there. Is this harder than driving a race car? Mate, I'm, I'm in a fishing farm and I can't catch a fish. So I've been told there's about a thousand fish here and not one of them want to jump on me, but I'm, I'm trying. So. Do you think it's going to be this hard this weekend out there with the field that's have shown up for the round two of the High Tech All Super Series? We're, we're trying, we're trying. We won't give up, but they're, they're, they're not very hungry apparently. <laughs> Look, the others want you to give up. They know that, and what you've been doing lately, how much time you spent in the car. Do you think that's going to pay dividends come Darwin? Yeah, it'll be good. And I'm teeing up Paul Monwell, so, um, I mean, he's from New Zealand and, and you know, he's, he's been around the motorsport scene for a fair while. So, yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to the racing side of things. I was looking forward to a stress-free day, but, yeah, I don't know. I've, 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 I've really got to catch a fish, otherwise my ego is going to be deflated before this weekend, so we'll see. Well, good luck with the fish. Good luck with this weekend. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> there is a big fella right there. Oh, have a look at it. Look at it. Go on, grab its tail. Mate, uh, you're finally getting your casting a little bit better. Is there a bit of coaching going on? Yeah, everyone clean took it out of me when we got out of the bus. Like Nathan, Josh, they just asked if I cast the rod and I said no. And it's probably the worst thing I've said, but I was the first one to catch one, so joke's on them. 